Hare Krishna to everyone. Myself Saurabh Gupta. I am currently working in Reliance Industry. I graduated from Jadavpur University from Instrumentation and Electronics Engineering. Today I will tell you about how I get connected to this Krishna Conscious Movement. What are, what are my experiences there? And uh, due to some reason I also get disconnected. But somehow or other, by the mercy of devotees, I again get connected and uh, I will tell you about my struggles also and lots of distractions also during uh, practicing the spiritual life. So first, uh, how I get connected to this movement? Before uh, coming to uh, this, this organization or association of devotees, I was uh, I was very much enthusiasm regarding uh, the Bhagavad Gita, understanding the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita. I tried uh, with my own effort to understand Bhagavad Gita, but my all attempt attempts were failed. And I realized that someone must be there who can make me understand the Bhagavad Gita. So I was basically searching. Uh, such person. So when I uh, get uh, when I got admission in uh, Jadavpur University uh, in the month of August 2015, uh, some seniors come 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 to us to to uh, to get us involved in the program. We all know that this is uh, discover yourself. Device course. It is basically a six session course. So at at, at first uh, the three session, uh, I I don't get any interest in the first three session. But but later in the fourth session, which is basically the science of soul, which is uh, which was given by His Grace Premanand I I was I was get really inspired by him because his. His way, his way of giving the presentation was uh, awesome, and and I thought this is the man whom I am searching basically. So I really get inspired, and uh, I get I got positive positivity uh, regarding the association of devotees, but uh, but initially it's not it not it was not so easy to get connected to devotees because uh, there were many misconceptions and misinformations regarding this movement many people um, did mental speculation about scorn about uh, this movement they, they they are really ignorant about this this organization and 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 they put up put many things which are totally uh, totally their mental speculation we can say so I get really disturbed by their opinions so initially due to their opinions uh, uh, I feel hard to connect with the devotees easily sometimes I run run away from the uh, sessions also due to due to this anti preaching but later on slowly slowly I I uh, get to know how this movement is bona fide, how what what is this movement is giving to all of us. So basically, uh, it's not in, in, uh, instantaneous. I get connected to the devotees. It, it takes time for me to uh, to connect it to the devotees, and also efforts of devotees must be praised because they put very much effort to to make us realize that that SCON is a bona fide organization. It is not like other organization we usually feel. So we all know that SCON is connected to uh, Brahma Mahatma Goddess Sampradaya. It is a bona fide uh, Sampradaya and also mentioned in Sastras. And, uh, and also, uh, during my first year, uh, SCON has organized many uh, camps like Utsa camp, 
Spurti camp, Utkarsh camp. So these camps uh, were really uh, meaningful to me because through these camps I get much and much information and all my mis misbelief regarding the scorn gets totally vanished. So these camps totally make me realize that I should get connected with the devotees and I should start living with them because I really get inspired to live in such a higher taste. Basically our spiritual life is the is the higher taste. So after the curse again which is which happened in May 2016, I I started living with the devotees. Means uh, I constantly get connected with the devotees and everything is going fine in the association. I was practicing my spiritual life very well and, and my little endeavor basically. Because in association, your little endeavor causes great advancement in your spiritual life. But if you are not in the association and if you try to advance in spiritual life, by your own effort, then it's become very really hard to to progress in spiritual life because because in the association we get enough push in the spiritual life. So little endeavor, your little endeavor can make make you make make you more advancement in this path. So everything was going fine, but uh, and in uh, uh, later. Uh, after the seventh month, after the seventh month, basically I lived in Hawaii in Hawaii or Scon for about seven months. After that, that, after that, I get little distracted due to my own behavior, my own mistakes. Basically, uh, in in uh, Scon, it is told that we should make decision based on the Bhagavad Gita. This is based on the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita or, or uh, on the opinion of any senior devotees. But, uh, but I terribly make a great mistake because I was making decision by my own effort, by my own mind. Basically, when, uh, basically in voice we are trained up to control the mind. But in, in my case, I am listening to my own mind. Basically, I become the servant of mind, and whatever mind is saying to me, uh, I was doing that. So, slowly, slowly, my due to bad association, due to many desires, which are basically impediment in the spiritual life, I totally get distracted. So, I left the association. But later on, I realized that basically, I I live. I lived for about one year without the association of devotees and when you get the higher taste it, it becomes really difficult to to live in the lower taste so but my mind was always telling try this try that you will become happy one day but uh, all the attempt, attempts were failed so I really get frustrated so I thought to reconnect again to the devotees so, but it was also not easy because once you accustomed to uh, living without a devotee and again connecting with the devotees it's a little bit difficult and again it uh, again it took me one year to get properly connected with the devotees because when when i try to to connect again many impediment impediment due to my own mind comes in the path so after basically one year in 2019, uh, in the month of uh, May, I again met the His Grace Premanand Prabhu. He told me how to again advance in his spiritual life, how to, uh, what to do, what not to do. Because in his spiritual life, you can't do whatever you like. Okay, you have to make decision based on the proper knowledge. And spiritual life is just like uh, you can, because uh, if you see, we can start a spiritual life easy. Anybody can start a spiritual life, but to maintain that spiritual life is a little bit difficult. We can take a very good example. We all know that if someone wants a very good body, good tricep, biceps, six pack, then he has to go gym. 
yes. has to follow proper uh, do's and don'ts what he should do what's not he should not do proper eating habit and also uh, going to gym means starting going to gym is very easy people generally we see that people go for two weeks one week but after that they failed in their exercises they left gym so similarly so so I, what i am trying to say to maintain anything is little bit difficult similarly it applies in the spiritual life to maintain the spiritual life it is little bit uh, difficult so we have to make some compromise we have to uh, we have to we have to strictly follow rules and regulation what to do what not to do so premanand pro has told me about this then he told me to go temple regularly in the weekends then he told me to eat proper food vegetarian food basically uh, without onion and garlic then uh, chanting four rounds starting and i really struggled to chant four rounds initially when i again get connected so slowly slowly by following the advice of his respectful manan to uh, by going to temple um, so i again back to my normal normal spiritual life means following the proper rules and regulations chanting all the 16 rounds so in this way uh, i get again i get again to my spiritual life balancing material life and spiritual life again i am i am feeling the higher test reading scriptures various scriptures are there shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita all these things are there so so my dear friend it's important that association of devotees is very important if you want to progress in uh, devotional life association of devotees is just like an amplifier just like uh, you say in the mic whatever you say the sound box amplifies it similarly when uh, you apply your endeavor in the spiritual life association of devotees basically amplifies that endeavor a little endeavor uh, causes great advancement in the spiritual life if you are in the association of devotees but without the association it is very difficult your little effort uh, causes very little progress or even not even that little progress and we fail at each step without the association of devotees so the association of devotees is very important so my dear friend don't make mistakes just like me and follow the rules and regulations properly and always be in the association of devotees okay hari krishna thank you very much